our first video on Clinic 3, the test fiddle revision. Let's revise the vocab of the unit together. Here we have it's time for practice. Choose the correct answer. I like traveling abroad too. Here the meaning is to regain our energy. To regain our energy. I like traveling abroad too. Pick my brains or recharge my batteries. As we know, pick my brains is to ask for detailed information, but recharge my batteries is to regain more energy. So here the answer is, I like a traveling abroad to recharge my batteries. Number two, you have to work out to do the world of good, get in shape. Here, to be fit, you have to work out or to get in shape, you have to work out. Number three, teenagers much money on fast food. Afflict, consume. Here, the answer is consume. So, teenagers consume much money on fast food. Number four, do a lot, a lot for helping the community. The people who help the community, surgeons or volunteers. Here, the answer is volunteers. Volunteers, the people are, who are helping the community. Number five, we go to the, to test our eyes sight. When we want to test our eyesight, we go to the dentist, of course not. We go to optician. So the optician is the person who can test our eyes sight. Number six, I decided to see a to give me advice about what we eat. The person who advised us about what to eat is diagnosed, of course not. He is a dietitian. So I decided to see a dietitian to give me advice about what to eat. Number seven, Monica needs to work her fitness if she wants to run a marathon. So work out or work on. Number eight, all children should be vaccinated diseases. Vaccinated to diseases or against diseases. Here we finish the vocab revision. Let's revise the grammar of unit three. Present perfect simple and present perfect continuous countable and uncountable nouns. Present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. Choose the correct answer. I have traveled to Paris 2005. I have traveled to Paris. 2005 and here I, we have a specific time so the answer will be since number two she has English all the day here the action may be completed or maybe not completed so this is a present perfect continuous because we don't have the result we don't know if this action has finished yet or not. So we have, she has been studying English all the day. Number three, have you 
been to London? Have you been to London? Have you already? Have you ever? Have you never? So here the answer will be, have you ever been to London? Number four, I have eaten. I can't eat anymore. So here, he didn't want to eat anymore. He has, or as we see in the question, I have already eaten. So I can't eat anymore. Let's revise the countable and uncountable nouns. Rewrite the following sentences using words in brackets. Think in the first sentence. You can think the room is full of furniture. The room is full of furniture. Can you think? of the answer furniture it's countable or uncountable so here we will say there is a lot of furniture in the room there is a lot of furniture in the room number two i don't have coffee for my guests i don't have coffee for my guests. No. Can you think of the answer? I don't have coffee for my guests. No. I have no coffee for my guests. I have no coffee for my guests. Number three. How many oranges are there? orange juice how many oranges are there orange juice again how many oranges are there the word in brackets orange juice can you think can you think again so here, as we see, how much orange juice is there? So why we used how much? Because I have orange juice. So we can't say how many orange juice is there because orange juice here is uncountable. So we said how much orange juice is there? Number four. Hurry up! We don't have much time before the coach leaves. Hurry up! We don't have much time before the coach leaves. A little. A little. Hurry up! We don't have much time before the coach leaves. So here, can you think of the word time? Is it countable or uncountable? Again, can you think of the word time? Is it countable or uncountable? Okay, can you think again? Here, as you see, hurry up. We have a little time before the coach leaves. The last sentence, there are no letters for me. There are no letters for me. Are there so think again there are no letters for me we will see the answer are there any letters for me are there any letters for me okay this is the grammar revision for unit 3 and this is the end Thank you and see you in the next unit. Bye-bye.